In this video, I'll break down this really cool pop-up freeze frame transition in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see, this is what the transition looks like. It kind of just pops up and creates this really cool freeze frame transition. So I go to the beginning of the freeze frame transition. As you can see, it just kind of scales up and the anchor point is set you know, to the bottom of the screen and it just creates this really, really cool pop-up freeze frame transition. Now this effect is really cool. However, the concept or the thing that's actually used to create this effect can be used to create multiple different effects and that effect is where the concept is basically the manipulation of the anchor point if you know how to manipulate and you know change the anchor point you can create some really cool effects for example this really cool pop-up freeze frame you can do a whole bunch of things and I'll show you how to manipulate the anchor point or you know change the anchor point to create some really cool transitions so the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to the second clip and you want to change the anchor point. Now if you didn't know this, Final Cut automatically defaults the anchor point in the middle. So if I select on the transform icon, as you can see the anchor point is centered or it kind of defaults at the center of the frame. So if I scale it, as you can see it's going to scale to that anchor point. But in order to create that transition we need to change the anchor point and change where the anchor point is so we need the anchor point to be down here. So if I select on the clip, I'll select the transform to Tool, and I'm going to head over here to anchor and I'm going to change um, the anchor so I'm going to do to kind of get a better idea of what I'm trying to do is let's go to show horizon and enable the show horizon grid just so we can kind of get a better idea of where it needs to be centered so we're going to kind of try to center the subject so all I'm doing is I'm going to adjust um, the anchor so it's going to adjust the anchor so now the anchor point is down there so now it's at the bottom of the frame so what you want to do next is you want to take the scale and you're going to have to increase the scale a little bit just in order to create this effect. Now we're going to drag the clip down. We want to make sure the clip is actually filling the entire frame. We want to make sure the anchor point is, as you can see, right in the middle. And there we go. Now we have the anchor point in the middle. So if I disable the show horizon, click on the clip and adjust the scale. As you can see, now the scale is coming from right there. So you have now changed the anchor point. So now you can have the transition look a little bit different rather than just having it, you know, scale in. So it's really cool. As you can see, there we go. We changed the anchor point. Now it's going to scale from a different position. So the next thing you want to do is you want to select on the clip and you want to create a hold frame, not a freeze frame. So if I select on that clip, make sure you're at the beginning of the second clip. So go to the beginning of the second clip, click on the speed options and then click on hold. So you don't want to create a freeze frame because what a freeze frame is going to do is it's going to reset the anchor point. So now what we want to do is we want to head over the clip and I'm going to scale in a little bit. We want to find the point right between the freeze frame on the clip. So there we go. Here is the point right between the freeze frames. So you only want to select the freeze frame, click on command B to chop that clip up so now we have the freeze frame and now we're gonna set the freeze frame to I don't know control D 10 frames so we have now set the freeze frame to 10 frames take the freeze frame and just place it on top of the first clip and now we just have a really nice freeze frame transition so if I play the video this is what it looks like it just freezes and then transitions into the second clip so what you want to do next is select on the second clip, head over here to the effects panel, and you want to scroll down until you find mask. So you see, and then we're just going to take a draw mask and we're going to apply it onto the freeze frame layer. And now all we're going to do is we're going to cut out the subject. So as you can see, I'm just going to cut out the subject. Now just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to do a very rough job. Obviously, this is you know, a client video or a serious video. Obviously, you know, take your time to make your mask look really good. I will do a whole video eventually breaking down how to mask and final cut but just for the sake of the tutorial just kind of save some time because I don't think you want to sit here and watch me mask out the subject for you know 15 20 minutes so there we go just gonna kind of save some time but obviously you know again take your time to make it look really nice but just for the sake of the tutorial I'm just gonna do a very quick cutout just to demonstrate how this transition works so if I play the video you just have a cutout pops up on screen and then transitions into the second video so what you want to do next is you want to head over to the cutout you want to take the scale and remember what the scale is at so it's at 105 we're going to take this scale Scale, change it to zero and all we're just doing is you're just going to keyframe the scale so place a keyframe on scale go to the end of the cutout and we're just going to keyframe the, the scale so 105 the scale so it goes from 0 to 105 in a matter of 10 frames so if I play the video as you can see it goes from 0 and it scales all the way up to 150 because we changed the anchor point now we can have it scale from that position so if I play the video as you can see voila now you have a really cool pop up freeze frame transition which I think this is a really cool transition and again because you know how because I showed you how to adjust the anchor point you can use 
use that concept to, to create a whole bunch of really cool transitions. Okay, the next step you want to do is you want to add some motion blur. So you see minimal motion blur, and you just want to place the motion blur and place it on top of the actual freeze frame animation. So it's going to trim it. So you can see all that's going to do is it's going to make the animation a little bit blurry, which in case which in which in will eventually basically smooth out the animation. Motion blur is really nice to really to just help smooth out. Um, animation and that's a must-have for any kind of animations so there we go now you have a really really cool pop-up freeze frame transition so again as you can see you have this really cool pop-up freeze frame transition remember in order to create this transition you're going to have to change the anchor point so if I go out to 50% enable the transform grid you have to uh, um, adjust the anchor point that's the only way you're going to create this um, transition you're going to have to change the anchor point and now you can create this really cool pop-up uh, freeze frame and again you can do a whole bunch of really cool things as long as you understand the concept of how to adjust the anchor point in Final Cut Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from. Lastly, make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.